education, we are not able to learn anything. So from today onwards, we will learn maths and EBS. After one maths chapter, one EBS chapter. Like that, we will follow. I know you all are like calculators in numbers and addition. Let's start with the chapter subtraction and just be like calculators in subtraction. For this, you need to know numbers and sometimes in some cases we also need to know addition. I know you all know that perfectly. So firstly, what is subtraction? Subtraction means taking away a number or quantity from a number. For example, let's take an example in our day to day life. For example, your father bought 12 onions and 3 of them were used. How many onions are left? Do we have to do it horizontally? No, it's very easy. I will tell you an easy method to do it. Keep 12 in your mind or just remember 12. Take 3 in your hand. 11, 10, 9. So the answer is 9. There are 9 onions left. Let's take another example. 9 minus 5. So keep 9 in your mind and 5 in your hand. Count before. And I will tell you something. You should only count before how much fingers are there in your hand. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So the answer is 4. Now let's see some rules. These rules are very easy but they have many advantages. Subtraction means taking away a number or quantity from a thing. The number which we are subtracting from or the total number is called the minimum or in our case it's 12. The number which we are taking away from the total number or in our case 3 is the subtrahend. The answer in subtraction is called difference. Just remember there is a difference in addition and subtraction. If we sub try to subtract 0 from a number, for example 9 minus 0, the answer will be the number itself. 9 minus 0 will be 9. Very good. Now, if we try to subtract a number by the number itself, then the answer will be 0. For example, 50 minus 50. The answer is 0. If we subtract 1 from a number, the answer will be the predecessor of the number. Number or the before number. For example, 50 minus 1. It will be 49. Hope you all understood this. Now, let's see how we can subtract by 10, 100 and thousands from big numbers. While subtracting 10, 100, 1000 from a number, we notice that when we subtract 10, 100, 1000 from a number, the digit in the tens, hundreds and thousands place decreases by one respectively, while the other digits remain the same. Today let's study till here only, because when we study all together, it shall not remain in our mind. Thank you. If you like my channel, please subscribe.